We get so many questions from our paint trades about the unit rate that we pay and the amount of time that we are hoping to have our houses painted in. We wanted to create this video to show the best things to focus on to make it happen. These really aren't the traditional methods, and final quality may be slightly less than the traditional methods, but it is a great balance of speed and value for us. The first and most important step is protecting the flooring, fixtures, outlets, and registers. The extra time you take here will save tons of time when actually painting. All of the floors should be covered in plastic. For the edges, you can either use plastic or paint paper to tape along the edge. HVAC registers should be taped over with plastic. Outlets, outlet covers, and light switches should be covered in blue tape. Or it may be quicker to unscrew them from the wall and wrap in plastic. Light fixtures can be covered in plastic too. After that, you can check to see if any areas need some caulking or patching to avoid large gaps. Once everything is covered and caulking is done, you can begin painting. The first step is to spray flat Swiss coffee colored paint on the ceilings. This will only require one coat and you just need to make sure the ceiling is covered with a good solid layer. It is okay to have it cover parts of the walls too as it will get painted over later. And since all fixtures and vents are taped off, you can paint right over the edges. If the walls have a dark paint existing and will require two coats, then you can also paint the Swiss coffee flat paint on the walls. This can go very quick because you don't need to worry about overspray on doors and trims. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you don't have dark walls, you can skip this step. Next, we will take semi-gloss Swiss coffee to paint the doors, trim, and baseboard. The goal again is a strong solid coat over everything. You can hold the sprayer about six to 12 inches from the edges to make sure the base and trim is covered. It is okay that you will have a few inches of overspray on the walls and the plastic. Now we need to let the paint dry. When we come back, the ceiling is done, the doors and trim are done. The only thing left is the wall coat. This coat is a little different because this is the only one that needs to be handled with care. So first we spray on the flat Killam Beige onto the walls. The key here is holding the sprayer the right distance from the wall for us to have a solid coat on the walls, but also to only get within one to two inches of the ceiling, doors, trim, or baseboard. If done correctly, you will have a small gap of white paint between the walls and the baseboard. If any gets onto the trim, just wipe off with a rag. If done quickly, shouldn't be an issue since the lighter color is already dried from the day before. The final step is painting the line between the solid coat of dark Killam Beige on the walls and the lighter paint on the doors, trim, base, and ceiling. This is the only step that will take some time as it should only be painted carefully and slowly with a brush. Once finished, you are done. For a 3,000 square foot house, you should be able to complete with two guys and 16 man hours each. 